everyone great to see you welcome back to the channel today we're jumping back into the laser and i want to show you how to set up an engraving of a map using lightburn for a 60 watt co2 laser so let's get to it okay we've got lightburn open and i'm going to go ahead and import a map this is an airport sectional for my local airport first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just select all and put it on the blue layer because the bulk of this is going to be line engraving i'm going to go ahead and delete some of the extra artifacts on the outside but i want to highlight the runways so we are going to select them individually or collectively and then i'm going to put them on the red layer for fill and then i'm actually going to weld the two into one object so that i get the full fill on uh, both of them together Next thing I want to do is I want to select them all and I want to group them because from moving forward, we want to use this as one item. I'm going to want to cut out around the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and use my box tool. I'm going to draw a box around that. I'm going to switch that to the black layer for cutting out. And then I want to arrange them both vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to use the orient both vertically and horizontally option. And that should center them both relative to each other. Next, I want to scale them to size. I want this to be about 10 inches or 255 millimeters. So I select that in the height. And now we can preview it, make sure everything looks good. Hit OK, and we're ready to send it off to the laser. Okay, and just like that, we have our laser engraved airport diagram. Now, in fairness, this was made much easier by starting out with a map that was a vector-based PDF. If you're starting out with a raster-based image, you're gonna have to use the image trace function, clean up the map, and then start manipulating it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and maybe consider subscribing to find out what I do next in the workshop. It's always great to share content with you, and I always love hearing back from you in the comments. So, we'll catch you next time.